In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to create this slide morph transition in Canva. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I created one. So for this project, I'm working in a video format. So the first thing I want to do is go over to my elements. I want to scroll down and find me a square frame. What I want to do is make it like a portrait for my like longer pictures. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the border and this is a perf personal preference and I'm going to put to and enter in there. So uh, what I want to do now is I want to make that small so I can have my workspace where I want to work. And I am going to duplicate this. And then what I want to do is get my spacing. And uh, what I want to do is kind of make this into a square as close as a square as I can. Um, you can go in into position and use your if you want to go in here and actually make them square if you want to but i i'm a i'm a wing it girl so i'm just gonna wing it and then i want to do here 17 i want that a little bit closer one two three and then let's see if we can get that just a little bit closer 14 i think 14 is good so i need one of these so i i want to need two of these two sets like this so i'm going to just duplicate that one and bring that one down to the bottom and we'll work on that in a minute and then what i want to do is i need two of these for my center i'm going to duplicate this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back over to elements i am going to grab a square and what i'm going to do with that square is try to make it the same size as this elongated frame and then what I want to do there is I want to try to match my I don't want 12 so let's hit this Oop. one two that should make it 14 I think yep that makes it 14 so it should match up here oh hold on I want the border on that too let's see if that like changes the dynamic here to enter all right, let's, let's move that back and forth and see if they're still 14. 14 and 14. All right, we're good. So we got those. We got the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy one of these and then bring that up here. And then I'm going to copy and bring one down here. And then you can go in and put your colors. I'm going to do a pink one. I'm going to go over here and I am going to do this color blue and then I'm going to come over here and I don't want any of those colors that's on here. So I'm going to go pick another color here. Now for this, it has to be solid colors. You can't use gradients or the squares won't move. So it has to be a solid color. So just a word of advice on that. So the next thing I want to start doing is I want to grab all of these and kind of put them like so, and then get my spacing in between. So I like that there. So let's go here and make sure we got good spacing in between and 18. That sounds like a winner. Maybe we want to go and we got 14. Let's do this. Um, one, two, three, four. Does that make that 14? 18. I don't want 18. I want 14. I don't. I'm learning one, two, three, four. And this should make that 14. I used my arrow keys. So that said 18. So what I did was highlight this and I clipped up four times to make it 14. And I just learned that myself just this moment. So now I have my setup that I, the way that I kind of want it. And we can still move it around afterwards. So what I want to do now is take highlight everything and then I want to move it and make it big. So these middle pieces, you want them off the page. So that's how big you're going to make it. So we're going to reduce this down and we're going to take this till our middle photos are just a hair off the page. Now your top and bottom ones are going to be off the page, but when we start sliding them, you'll be able to see the whole picture of everything. So you should be okay. You'll see the whole picture of the top, the bottom, when we move up and down this way. So don't worry that they're cut off at the top and the bottom. 
and then you're just going to uh, get in here and get it where you like it and kind of center it up a little squirrely and then we have we'll go back up 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 and then we'll start inserting our photos so let's go into my recent use see what we got um the girls go in the small one girls in the small one and then i'm going to just slide some of these in here um let's do that little palette let's move that over can we oh let's make it bigger so it kind of fits in there and kind of takes up that and um what else we got this little palette over here these and how about this one so and now i have all my photos set up i'm going to click out of that and i got all my photos set up so the next thing that i want to do is i do my text last and there's a reason because i want to concentrate on my animation first before i want to worry about my text yes you might have to do a little copy and paste in to get your text but I prefer to do that last. If you want to try to do it during, that's up to you. But my style, I just want to do it last. So with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the page. So now I want to do my first movement. So I want to go and I want to move this, this away. So I'm going to just drag it across like so. And you're going to drag it as far as you want to. But do not let any of the pictures off the page because you cannot group these to do the movements. So don't, you're going to have to have at least a hair of whatever in photo is still on there. Otherwise you'll lose it. So once you get that down, what you're going to do is you're just going to expand this out like so. And then what you can do is duplicate the page. And if you want to, you can go, and this is where you can move it any way you want to. So what I'm going to do now is start lining up for my drop so i'm going to come back on this one and see line up these corners right here with this corner right here and then i'm going to do the movement out of this one so i'm going to take these and i'm going to move these to the edge but not off the um page so i'm going to take these to the gently take them off as you can see my hands are not steady when i do this but I'm going to take them off to the size of the page and then I'm going to expand this out like so. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate this page. We're live action in here. And then I'm going to take this one and I am going to move it this way. I'm going to take this back in to the edge of this one, bring this photo back in to the edge of this one, and I am going to use my arrow keys a little bit to get fine tune that, click out, click back in, arrow keys, and we're going to line those up so we can do that down movement next. And then I'm going to bring this back in, and if you want to leave this out and do it on another slot, move them all the way you any way you want to just jazz it up and we're going to move it back in like so and now we got this one moved in and then oh what we can do now is duplicate the page i'm going to go from the top to the bottom make sure i grab everything i didn't go here and grab all this side right here and I'm going to move it down like so. And then I'm going to take, then I'm going to click out of it. Do not let your pictures go off the bottom of the page right here. And then I'm going to move this up. And then I am going to duplicate the page here. Go and do this side. Highlight these. Move these upward. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, steady, steady. Oh, got to keep a little bit on the, keep a little bit on there. Keep those little edges right there. Otherwise, it's going to move off. And then bring that down. And then if you want to, duplicate the page. 
move this one up. See, I'm doing individuals and stuff like that. That's why you can't group these things because the way we got to move. And you can bring that one up, bring this one down, and then up. And fill that out like so. And then we'll do the animation. Oh, that bottom piece. Nope, 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 nope. We need some space there. Okay. Now I'm going to go in between my pages. Hit matching move. Turn the duration all the way up. Scroll down if you're in the new one. And go to apply all pages. Um, 2.5. Oh, we're going to do these at 2. To enter. I don't know why it says 2.6 and uh, you just move the mouse and everything disappears. To enter, what does it say now? 2.1, I'll take 2.1. All right, and I'm gonna go back and forth real quick. And now we're gonna watch the animation part and see, cross your fingers, everybody. Let's see what it looks like. Move over, expand, move down, up, okay. So we've got the animation down. Now, if you want to do text, depending on how you want to do text, we're going to go grab some random text out of the recently used. So we'll grab this one. Let's make that white so we can see it really well. And just put it in here. So you can do that. And if you want to control C, control V. Oops, I missed the second one. Come on, give me the second page. Mercy, come on. There we go. Control V. And then what I would do, maybe for the third page. Um, let's see, are we going down here? For the third page, I'm going to control V it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go click here, go into my layers tab, and send it to the back. That way it'll disappear. It'll fade out right there. So if we look at it, it's going to go fade. It's going to come in and fade out to a block. Now I'm going to work on my pink one. So the pink one, whatever you want to do, you want to go into the one before it moves. So this is page four. Page five is where it moves down. So I'm going to go into page four and I'm going to pick out some text. Let's see what we got here. Let's do join now. So I want to do join now. Join now actually has some space on the end. If it doesn't have any space on the end right here where you can pull it off the page, um, just uh, what I usually do is just duplicate it. And then I'm going to take it and turn the transparency down. And then I'm going to go into position, layers. I'm going to, that's already highlighted. I'm going to highlight it, the other one, and I'm going to group them together. And then I am going to pull it off the page like so. And then you can't see it. And then oh, what I'm going to do is make sure that, and I'm going to control C that, and then I'm going to go to where it pulls down at and control V and then bring it down like so. And then same thing for the blue. Oh, hold on. Look at it going on the wrong pages. Come on, there's another one. Well, hold on. I want it in that spot. So I'm going to do here. I'm going to go... Control C in that position and go to this one right here. These pages are jumping around, y'all. It's getting. Canva, I love you. All right, so now I'm going to do this one. Let's do. Oh, oh, I hit a pro one, y'all. They didn't like that one. Um, Let's see. Here we go. Trending. That's not pro. Um, let's change that to white. Um, let's make it small here. The other thing you can do, let's see, I want to pull it down to this page. That's a way you can move things from one page to the other. So if you want it lined up like that, you can do the same thing. So I'm going to duplicate that, make one on top, take that down like that and go over to position, control key, control key, group. And now you know where it is in your final position. It's already highlighted. Control C and just go to the one before. Control V and then you can 
drag it straight down so it's a good straight up because you know what position it's coming from to where you want it to go. And then you can just go to your last one, control V. And then if you want to, you can have something pop up in the middle. Or there, whatever. Oh, no, not that one. Not that page, y'all. The end page. Um, what is the one I had up there earlier? I had like coming soon or something. Oh, here. We'll just do new item. That'll fit. Oh, nope. God darn it. Where's the little things that tells you that it's a pro thing? How about this one? Okay, here we go. And then you can have the, like this one pop up in the center. Which one are we missing here? This one? Hit this join now. Control C. Come on over this one. Control V. Alright, so now let's watch in what we have now. So here is your start home. Let's move this stuff out the way so we can make this a little bit bigger and y'all can see good. Let's go here. Enlarge it. Alright. Let's play and see what we got, y'all. Ready? Ooh. Out. Some more movement. Down. So with this one, I think I'm going to... If you saw it kind of drift this away. So I'm going to go back into where the position is here. I am going to go into position and I am going to grab it. Control C that. And go into this one, take it out, delete it, because I must have it off center here. So real life troubleshooting here. Control V it, and then just slide it straight up as best as possible, because you know me and those steady hands. That way it should look a little bit smoother and not just join it. And plus I've got a chihuahua ramming her head into my neck and she's trying to get comfortable while she sleeps. Um, so now we can look at it and see if it's like a smoother come down. Yes, very much smoother. Looks very much better. So that's a real life troubleshoot right there. And that's how you kind of do that one. Um, um, I wish we could use the white space because you could put more pictures on here because when you slide it off, you wouldn't lose it. But like in PowerPoint, you can actually put elements outside of your design space and then move them in and you don't lose them but in canva if you do that and you put it over in the white space it disappears so this is just another this is a cool little thing it's limited on the amount of pictures you can use because of the way it is but hey it's still kind of cool somebody challenged me to do this and i think it was a, <laughs> it turned out pretty well so i want to thank you guys for stopping by i love you i hope to see you on the next one Bye, y'all.